Hello everyone, my name is Nick Goodkin and I work with Vito in Belgium. Today I would like to talk to you about the Mapeo UAV phenotyping platform, and especially about our experiences in adapting the platform to the newest affordable drone on the market, the Mavic 3M Multispectral. Uh, for those of you that don't know, Mapeo is a UAV processing platform that covers all steps of UAV image processing from planning a flight to uploading and checking the data quality to further analysis either through our online viewer or via our API. We help companies conducting phenotyping research to plan and execute flights throughout the growing season. We have also been focusing a lot of our research on understanding how we can prioritize affordability for phenotyping applications by coming up with unique ways to reduce the costs for the user while delivering high quality data. Some of the ways that we can do that are through improving the quality checking and data analysis steps, using new and cheaper drone platforms, and connecting external data sources to maximize the benefits for our users. Mapeo makes the planning of drone flights throughout an entire growing season easy through our ordering platform. Users can choose from different packages of final products and get drone requirements and specifications for each flight. If users have their own UAV platforms, they can simply upload images for each flight, or Vito can find pilots from our network to execute the flight and gather data. We also offer a Drone Phenotyping Academy, which prepares pilots to acquire high quality data and reduces issues and errors when gathering data in the field. Furthermore, our innovative quality checking program allows you to check the quality of images gathered directly in the field, without an internet connection required. This helps companies to reduce the time and costs associated with drone flights because pilots can find out immediately in the field whether the data that they acquired of, was of a high enough standard. These are some examples of traits for which we commonly provide automated data processing in Mapeo. We work together with seed breeders, phenotyping companies, research organizations, and companies conducting chemical trials. Our catalog of available products to support phenotyping trait research is much broader. And as a research organization ourselves, we often collaborate with other companies for larger pre-funded projects, such as those from Horizon Europe. The online Mapeo viewer features a customizable plot delineation tool that saves both time and money for companies by reducing the effort required to create accurate phenotyping plots in any field. This tool allows data analysts using Mapeo to draw phenotyping plots in an efficient and coordinated manner, covering a large area of plots in just a few clicks. Once the microplots are delineated, users can customize their own naming and numbering system to be in line with their internal systems, allowing for direct comparisons and derivations of different phenotypes from the field plots. These plot delineations can then be used for any UAV flights for that field, allowing the data analysts to extract statistics based on those plot delineations. Affordable phenotyping doesn't have to stop at UAV platforms, however. We have also been working on an integration of high-resolution satellite data for phenotyping purposes. 
At a 50 centimeter resolution, this data doesn't allow the user to generate AI products, but it does allow for the creation of vegetation indices and the monitoring of plant vigor and health over the growing season. Considering the relatively high costs of acquiring UAV imagery in some countries and regions, this can be a solid alternative, especially if multiple trial fields are clustered in a single area. Furthermore, the integration of this imagery with Mapeo means that you can use the same plot design system mentioned previously and even pair the satellite results with UAV results for the same field. This allows you to reduce the overall costs of UAV flights by acquiring co-registered satellite data that describes the health and vigor of your field trials over time. Mapeo also makes UAV phenotyping more efficient by providing field managers with yield potential maps, which allow them to decide on locations for new fields before the growing season starts. Having an understanding of the existing spatial patterns in a field reduces the amount of time and UAV flights it takes to find out similar information during the season. This allows field managers to focus more on the traits of interest to them rather than trying to understand the existing field heterogeneity. There are, these are two ways uh, in which we use satellite data in Mapeo to increase the affordability of phenotyping. But a new method that we're very excited about actually involves one of the newest UAVs on the market, the Mavic 3M. So in the scope of affordable phenotyping, we must of course look at up and coming drone platforms. Of course, the investment in a multispectral capable drone is always one of the highest upfront costs for a company conducting UAV phenotyping research. So we are always looking for alternatives that can deliver high quality results for a lower cost. Enter the newly released Mavic 3M, a small drone specifically targeted at the agricultural market. At half the price of a multispectral Phantom 4 and a quarter the price of an M300 and Red Edge P combined, it also has much higher resolution in both multispectral and RGB bands. It's more portable and it also has an excellent flight time. So we took a look at the Mavic 3M and conducted some tests to verify the usability of this drone for agricultural applications. The Mavic 3M was able to deliver excellent results in terms of geopositioning of the images. We got high accuracies with GCPs and the RTK system worked very well. Compared to the Phantom 4M, uh, illumination artifacts were not present, which is already a great improvement from previous tests. However, there is no calibration panel delivered with the drone. So what we did was we tried some tests with and without a MicaSense calibration panel. Comparing those results to those of the Red Edge P, we found that the values are generally pretty similar, but there is a scaling issue when a calibration panel is not used. Using the calibration panel improved the results greatly. However, the NDRE results are still somewhat different than those of the Red Edge, likely due to the positional shift of the Red Edge band in the Mavic 3M from 717 nanometers to 730 nanometers. Nonetheless, the results look very promising for agricultural applications, and we're very excited about the potential applications for this drone. So when you're thinking about affordability and phenotyping, you should consider all aspects of the processing workflow. With Mapeo, we reduce the costs associated with the non-flight parts of the processing workflow, making it easier and faster to execute flights and analyze your, do your data post-flight. But it's also important to consider other data sources to support your UAV-based research including satellite data that offers a great alternative to multispectral drone data, especially in large fields or areas where multiple fields are clustered together. Finally, one of the most promising avenues for affordable phenotyping is through using new affordable drones like the M3M, which are increasingly getting better in terms of their data quality. Overall, affordable phenotyping remains a priority for new developments in Mapeo. And it is something that we are increasingly striving to bring to our users. Thank you very much for listening.